So in today's power bank challenge, we're gonna see how long this Blue Eddy will run in standby mode. So let's get started. So any power bank that you leave on will consume some energy. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on, the AC side, and then we'll see how long it will last. So in order to do that, this unit has a feature in it where if it doesn't sense a load, it'll turn itself off. It's called eco mode. And if you turn it on, it says it right here at the top of the screen, it says eco. So there's a way to do it through the app and there's a way to do it on the screen here. So through the app, I'll show right here. If you press settings and then at the top, there's a eco mode, it's either on or off. If you turn it on, then you can adjust whether you want it to cycle the unit off after one hours, two, three, or four hours of no load. So once you set your hours that you prefer, you can turn it on and off in the app. Or you can turn it on and off by pressing both the AC and the DC buttons. They both need to be off first. So you press both of them at the same time. And then you'll see the 60 hertz light start to flash. You gotta be careful because if you press the AC button, you'll change it to 50 hertz. So make sure you don't press the AC button again. If you press the DC button, it'll turn the eco on and off. I waited too long. So if you press the, the DC button, it'll turn the eco off and you can turn it back on again. So for this test, I need to turn it off because I don't want it to cycle off on its own. And now to save the settings, you have to press both buttons again. So eco mode is off and I still am set to 60 hertz. So just make sure you don't hit that AC button. So now we will turn this on and we'll see how long it takes to drain the battery just by leaving it on in standby mode. I learned about the eco mode when I had my challenge for the small fans that I was using. When I was plugging it into the USB port, it was such a small load that it turned off on me. So ever since then, I've had the eco mode turned off so I can do these experiments on, on the video. But then one day I left it on between filming different clips on my videos and I consumed some of my percentages between the videos. So I got to remember to turn that back on myself. So right now it says it'll last 26 hours. It just changed from the 30 to the 26. So I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but I'm assuming that's what I'm going to go by. So I'm assuming it's going to last 26 hours. It doesn't show we're using any output load and it doesn't show we have any input coming in. Of course, I'm not charging it but it still consumes some power. And I also believe if I turn on the DC, I will also consume more power. That might be another test for another day. So we'll see how long it lasts, just in AC mode with nothing plugged in. So we'll check back periodically and see the progress. It's been 20 hours. We're still at 99% used, 1% left. I'm gonna turn on something to see if I can get it to drain at all. The light's on high using two watts. I'll let that run for maybe 30 minutes and then I'll check back. It's been 20 and a half hours and the light's been on for a half hour. 21 hours and it shut off. So the Blue Eddy is now at 0%. It powered itself off. So it took 16 to 17 hours for it to get down to 1%. We just shut off at 21 hours with the help of the light being on for the last 45 minutes. And that uh, drained the last 1%. So it hung on around 1% for about four hours. So I'm going to think that it actually might have turned off the AC uh, portion on the inside because it didn't 
it didn't seem like it was draining any further. So usable time was between 16 and 17 hours. Uh, it drained approximately 6% per hour, or you could look at that as being 1% every 10 minutes. So whether you're using something, whether you're powering a TV or something, you're probably still gonna use that 1% just to convert from the DC to the AC. And if you happen to leave it on, it's still gonna consume 1%. If you leave it on overnight, that's eight hours times the 6% per hour, that'd be 48% you're gonna lose overnight. If you were running this while you're running an appliance, you can assume that this is still gonna use 1% for every 10 minutes or 6% for every hour just to convert the power from DC to AC. So you need to calculate that in. So remember to leave the eco mode on. Let's see if I can turn it on when we're down this low on power. Press both buttons. I'm flashing, press the DC button. Now the eco mode is on. Press both buttons to save it. Okay, it's on. So if you like this video, subscribe up here and watch more videos down here. Have a good day.